welcome to What's Cooking with Rochelle. In today's episode, we are going to make shrimp skewers. I usually use an assortment of vegetables, whatever ones I have on hand, to accompany the shrimp. You can choose whichever ones you want. Today, we're going to be doing button mushrooms, cherry tomatoes. I have some lovely orange and red pepper, onion, and zucchini. I've done it with broccoli, you can add pineapple, get creative and you can get and have lots of fun. So the best thing about these, they are so fast and easy and they taste amazing. You need a Ziploc bag. We are literally gonna make our sauce in the bag and then dump all the ingredients in it. Okay, so in our sauce, this is what we have. We have some olive oil. We have a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. To that, I'm adding a couple of tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. That'll make it taste way better. Don't use that other stuff. Okay, and the herbs that I had fresh on hand are some parsley. So I've got about two tablespoons of fresh parsley there. I have one tablespoon of basil. And a and about a teaspoon of fresh thyme. Now, I like mine with a little kick. Do you like some kick with yours? So to this, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of hot sauce. Now, you could add red pepper flakes. Um, you could add Thai chilies or you could add no spice at all. It's okay, it doesn't have to add that. Again, this is yours, make it how you want. So we're gonna give this a quick marinade, okay? So whenever possible, I try to use uh, fresh ingredients. So this is a salt grinder. You're like, Rochelle, I don't have one. Just use the other salt that's already ground then. Or you can get one at the store, pretty easy. So that was probably maybe a quarter to a half a teaspoon there. And I'm going to add about the same amount of pepper. Okay. Let's give it one more quick toss. Now, if you wanted to, you could taste it and make sure it's how you want it. If you want it spicy or less spicy, you can adjust that now. And we're literally gonna add all the ingredients. Now I'm making five skewers today, okay? So I have 10 uh, tomatoes, 10 mushrooms, because we're at two on each one. I have 20 little cubes of pepper and 10 onion, and 10 zucchini. That was two small zucchinis that I grabbed and chopped up. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. I think I counted right. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Yes, so we're adding four shrimp to each one. Again, if you want more shrimp, less vegetables, just adjust it. We are gonna seal our bag up, make sure it's sealed good. And then we're gonna give it a quick toss. I know you're gonna think I'm crazy, but that's literally it. We are gonna put this in the refrigerator to marinate for 10 minutes. We're gonna put them on our skewers in whatever order you want and put them on the grill. They'll cook in less than three minutes on the grill. So I will see you back in 10 minutes. Okay, so our vegetables and shrimp have been marinating for 10 minutes now. So we're gonna go ahead and put them on our skewers and get them ready to go on the grill. If you haven't already lit your grill, go ahead and do that first. It does need to preheat for five to 10 minutes. Okay, so this is the fun part because you're kind of like making a puzzle. So grab a skewer. 
Now we know we have two mushrooms for each one and two zucchinis. So I'm going to start with, and like I said, there's no right or wrong. Do it however you want. Let me find an onion. I'm going to leave my mushrooms for the very end of my skewer. So I'll cap them off that way. Just something fun to do. All right, we're getting close. We've got three shrimp. Let's squeeze it in there. Now my skewers are metal. Um, if you have bamboo skewers, which are wooden skewers, you're going to have to soak them. So before you started marinating, meaning letting the vegetables marinate in the refrigerator, um, go ahead and get those soaking as well. Now my shrimp, I know they're, yet, they're uh, pink, but they are not cooked yet. So make sure when you're doing this, you're using shrimp that are raw. If you use already pre-cooked shrimp, um, they will be really hard and chewy. Not so exciting. Okay, I got two of them done. I'm gonna go ahead and finish these up and I will see you guys when they're done before we put them on the grill. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get them on the hot grill. Now, to make sure they don't stick, I'm just gonna real quick oil the grill. I'm doing that with, uh, but you could do it with regular olive oil and just a rag. Leave a little space in between them. And we're gonna go ahead and close this and cook them for just a couple of minutes, turn them and cook the rest. All right, let's check them out here. I have my handy mitt on. Do not ever touch a metal skewer with your bare hands. So you can see how lovely those are looking. Just give them a quick toss. This is why we put the space in between them on the grill. All right, and they need just another two minutes and they're finished. All right, they should be ready to take off the grill. Oh yes, look at that loveliness. So um, be careful if your skewer is hot um, right off the grill, just use your mitt. Um, I normally serve this on top of rice or um, quinoa or something like that, um, a starch. So let's go ahead and see if I can get like a bite of a couple of things for you guys all in one ginormous bite. Mm. Mm. I got you. But that is so tasty. So absolutely amazingly simple. Perfect thing in the summer to make when it's hot and you don't want to have the oven on, but you want something really good. Try some shrimp skewers. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.